here's my review for uh, the TV show House of Lies. I'm doing this review in, in the beginning of season two. Watch season one. Kind of liked it in a way. It's it's very much like another Showtime show of, of a bunch of self-loathing, I hate myself individuals, but I'm good at my job and I'm successful human beings. And of course, there's lots of sex going on. There's lots of like filth and nudity and like all kinds of like kind of great great stuff going on in the high class society of our world just like Californication but this is more of the business side of it where Californication is more of like the entertainment industry of it I don't know why but this movie this show is like another kind of disgusting show I tried to get like my girlfriend to watch it and she could only last like two minutes of it because it was just so like just like it was just awful to watch sometimes like after these episodes you need to like take a cold shower because of what you saw is like disgusting but the only thing about this show is that what all everything I'm trying to say is that what makes it better than Californication is that one it's way it's better performed and two it's better written in terms of characters because the characters seem to be even though the two guys who are like uh who are like basically the, the the puppets of the show are kind of one dimensional, but it, it is, there is some depth going on in the show, especially the main character, because you want to know what this guy is going to do, and you can tell he's trying to be a good father, and maybe he's trying to be a good guy, but he just can't because he hates himself so much, and he's he's stuck in the madness of of capitalism in our society. It's like greed is his great sin, and basically he doesn't know how to stop his greed, which is kind of a cool concept, which makes me keep watching. That's my review.